Hey guys, Naomi Cal here on IGN.com, and thanks for tuning in to this Five Nights at Freddy's Let's Play. I really hope I have some good jump scare moments. What we're going to do is we're going to start a new game. I'm going to go in right here, use the correct mouse, not the one I just uh, used for my recording. Um, yeah, f Five Nights at Freddy's. Let's hope I, I can make it. The point is, well, the guy's going to give us a little debrief here on the phone, so just listen in for a bit. I'm going to go quiet, and then we'll get started on some, uh, well, surviving the nights. Five Nights at Freddy's. Jade, could you answer the phone for me, please? Thanks. Jane! Oh, there you go. <laughs> Hello? Hey. Hello? What's up? Uh, I wanted to record a message for you to help you get settled in on your first night. Um, I actually worked in that office before you. I'm finishing up my last week now, as a matter of fact, so I know it can be a bit overwhelming, but I'm here to tell you there's nothing to worry about. Uh, you'll be fine. So let's just focus on getting you through your first night. Okay, uh, let's see. First, there's an introductory greeting from the company that I'm supposed to read. It's kind of a legal thing, you know. Um, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a magical place for kids and grown-ups alike, where fantasy and fun come to life. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or person. Upon discovering that damage or death has occurred, a missing person report will be filed within 90 days or as soon as property and premises have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached and the carpets have been replaced. Blah, blah, blah. Now, that might sound bad, I know, but there's really nothing to worry about. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night, but do I blame them? No. If I were forced to sing those same stupid songs for 20 years and I never got a bath, I'd probably be a bit irritable at night, too. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children, and we need to show them a little respect. Right? Okay. So just be aware, the characters do tend to wander a bit. Uh, they're left in some kind of free-roaming mode at night. Uh, something about their servos locking up they get turned off for too long. Uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day, too. But then there was the bite of 87. Yeah, it's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe, you know? Uh, now, concerning your safety, the only real risk to you as a night watchman here, if any, is the fact that these characters, uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without its costume on. Now, since that's against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, They'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Um, now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't filled with cross beams, wired, and animatronic devices, especially around the facial area. So you can imagine how having your head forcefully pressed inside one of those could cause a bit of discomfort and death. Understandably. Uh, the only parts that you would <laughs> likely see the light of day again would be your eyeballs and teeth pop out the front of the mask here. Oh. Yeah, they don't tell you these things when you sign up. But hey, yes. first station of the breeze. I'll chat with yeah. you tomorrow. Uh, check those cameras and remember to close the doors only if absolutely necessary. Gotta conserve power. Okay. Alright, good night. Alright, so that's it guys. That's what I need to do. I need to survive five nights for my first week. Why I would want to do this for an entire week is beyond me, but hey. My problem is I want to keep checking the cameras. And you can't do that because I mean, well, you lose power. See, I'm already at 68%. I was just browsing to show you guys kind of what we're looking at here, but, um. So we got three dudes. Randomatronic robots. Okay. Um. Just gonna wait around, I guess. Some weird noises in the background. Let me know, guys, uh, what you, what you're doing for Halloween. It's uh, the thirty first today, as you're watching this. And I decided to play this. I wanted to do face cam. I wanted to get a face camera 
so you guys could see my reactions as I'm playing this. Right now I'm wearing a um, really cool costume, Supergirl. If you guys uh, watch The Fix today, you'll get to see that. So I dress up as Supergirl. Yep. Kind of, uh, you know, because of the fact that they're making a Supergirl TV show. Uh, it was announced recently. Not much is known about that. Uh, just like very little details were given, if any. <laughs> we don't know who's cast yet, for one. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to dress up as Supergirl. I thought now's my chance. And huge DC fan, so uh, done Harley Quinn before in the past. What what other costumes have you guys dressed up as? Let me know. As I wait for my demise here. Five Nights at Freddy's. You know... Is that... Do you guys see that? No. Okay, that's just a door. I thought that was... Some sort of... Well, you know. Whatever those robot dolls are. <laughs> spooky. <laughs> robot dolls. Speaking of spooky. Another question for you guys. If you feel like commenting below while you're watching this. Um... What is the what is this uh you know Halloween trope that you just cannot stand? Either you're scared of spooky looking dolls, clowns, or what's what's your your fear like when it comes to Halloween? What's the scariest thing for you? Is it vampires? Is it werewolves? Let me know in the comments below. For me, uh, you know, robots are pretty scary. <gasps> okay, missing. Robots. Uh, cameras are out. Oh my god. Don't tell me. Is it happening? It's only 4 a.m. Okay, there's definitely something there now. It's coming towards me. Uh. Let <sighs> close the door. I don't know. There's something next to me, is there? On the right. No. Doesn't look like it. Come on, just become 5 a.m. already. I guess it's 5 a.m., right? Because 5 a.m. is dawn in most places. You know, unless daylight savings happen. I don't know. I don't want to. Okay, I'm going to stop looking at the camera. I think I'm going to have enough battery to hold it. No! Battery. Come on, it's 5 a.m. Please let my shift be over. Let me out of here. Why did I degrade at this job? There's something here, right? Something's walking. Okay. I think I'm okay. I have 28% battery. Is there anything on that side? Oh! Did I see Shadow? No, okay. I'm good. Just let it be over. I just want to close both both doors and just hide away. And you know, what's behind me? Who knows? I'm hoping it's just a wall of nothingness. Or a concrete titanium wall. Anything to protect me from those guys. They're too scary. They're too scary. Yeah, so I, I don't know. What, what is my... The thing that spooks me, that gets me... I mean, I really... Sometimes I'll hear things in the middle of the night and I hear, like, ghosts. Well, I don't hear ghosts, but I always... Oh my god! I made it. To finish off my story, sometimes at night I hear little things. And I think... Maybe it's a ghost. Maybe it's something trying to reach out to me from the... Great unknown. Uh, I mean, I don't know. But yeah, ghosts do scare me. So that's it! I think I survived my first night. And now it's on to night two. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm doing this alright. That wasn't so bad. <laughs> I play this way too cautiously. <sighs> I survived! 
Oh, great. Uh, it might be a good idea to be those cameras while I talk, just to make sure everyone's in their proper place, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, interestingly enough, Freddie himself doesn't come off stage very often. I've heard he becomes a lot more active in the dark, though. So, hey, I guess that's one more reason not to run out of power, right? Uh, mm -hmm. I also want to emphasize the importance of using your door lights. Uh, there are blind spots in your camera view, and those blind spots have to be right outside your door. So if, if you can't find something or someone on your cameras, uh, be sure to check the door light. Uh, you might only have a few seconds to react. Uh, not that you would be in any danger, of course. Uh, I'm not implying that. Uh, also, <laughs> uh, check on the curtain in Pirate Cove from time to time. The character in there seems unique in that he becomes more active if the cameras remain off for a long period of time. I guess he doesn't like being watched. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I'm sure you have everything under control. Uh, Thank you, sir. Soon. Okay. Here it goes. Night two. Oh my god. Already 86%. Battery life. So he's talking about this place, I'm assuming. That one of the robots becomes more active. The camera's not on him. How does he know the camera... Like... How do they have minds like that? Uh, that's so scary. Um, okay. <sighs> I guess I'll just casually browse through the cameras. Okay, I'm missing one guy already. Great. Camera six is out. Is that another? No. Why are they still there? I guess because he never got a chance to spook me. Oh. That buzzing noise makes it worse. Okay. I don't know. I guess I'll wait a bit. Can't make it that close. It's only 2 a.m. Don't get why I can't just have the doors boarded up or something. That's what I'll bring next time. Big pieces of plywood and port up my doors. Oh boy. What the heck is that noise? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Oh gosh. I'm sorry to whoever had headphones on during that time. Did not expect. <laughs> that to happen um that was creepy oh gosh and you could hear like it, the things breathing or I don't know what it was it was too much anyways I'm gonna call it a night thanks for tuning in guys Friday Nights at Freddy's that was your let's play for Halloween it's October 31st today guys woo I hope you enjoy your Halloween. I hope you guys have a blast partying it up. Enjoy your costumes. I would love to see photos of what you guys dress up as. Or just leave a comment below telling me what your costume is this year. I asked you a few questions during the Let's Play. I'll be in the comments below. So be sure to tune in on that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Because I want to do more spooky themed, uh, spooky Halloween themed Let's Plays. So tune in for those on IGN.com. Thanks for watching.